Alright, welcome back to another episode of our Guild Wars 1 playthrough in Nightfall. We are back in Kamadan. Uh, if you're following my videos uh, as I release them, you know that I just went back and dominated a, <laughs> a Sorrow's Furnace quest that I had failed previously. Um, but now I'm going to continue on uh, in my Nightfall playthrough. I am going to, you know, periodically go back and whittle away at the Soros Furnace. We still have like two quests plus uh, an exploration there that I want to do. Kind of dragging that one out a little bit, but I want to also make sure I'm making progress in Nightfall because this is the main campaign. Uh, after all, we are we left last episode or the, uh, the last Nightfall episode rather with a primary quest called the council is called we we successfully escaped back to Kamadan with some refugee soldiers escapee soldiers and now we're kind of making a plan okay what do we do about Varish she's got some demons uh she's doing some bad stuff so let's see what we can put together here saying among young people to the left okay we lost thousands of weapons, hundreds of boats, lots of supplies, yeah. Um, Sewell would press forward with this fight. Nala would explain the details until the life is upon us. We have failed, and in failing, we have endangered all is done. So this person's all doom and gloom. Yeah, this person's ready to give up. She wants... He, he, Elder Dahut wants to just... Wants to just surrender, it looks like. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen, buddy. Uh, I guess I have to go all the way up here to talk to Elder Sewell. Great design. I wish they hadn't done that. That's kind of lame. Ah, uh, hi! It is through the people that... Are... Okay. You bear grave tidings. Ferris is truly aligned with these demons. The sun spirits have smashed. We need allies in this desperate times. Allies for the coming fight. So, yeah. So, we need, we need some help. She's got demons. What do we got? We got nothing. We just got sun spears. Have me, of course. I'm pretty strong. Um, let's see what he's talking about. We cannot stand by while Farish continue, but we are too weak to continue the war alone, yeah. We need brothers, the Vabians, aha! So, so far we know about the Istanian, Istani, we know about the Kernans, now we're introducing the Vabi, Vabians? Go to Vabi and convince princess, the princess to join. The princes, plural. So there's multiple princes that can help us here. Uh, yep. Got it. Level up. Let's go. Oh, I should have brought my lower level henchmen to get the experience from that quest so they could level up. Dang it. Uh, okay, you must go to Vabi and convince those corpulent princes. So they're very wealthy, I guess. Corpulent. You wouldn't you wouldn't expect that word to mean wealthy, but it looks like it means like yeah, you, know, you know, they're undead or something. Corpse, corpulent. Very unpleasant word in my opinion. All right, let's go. So we're going back to the docks. We're going to just sail directly there, I guess. It's interesting. Let's see if we can adjust our skills for this episode. I've been running this um, Fever Dreams, but let's go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Where do I gotta go? I gotta go to Command Posts. We're still keeping up our nostalgia style where we could, we're limited to only three heroes. And as uh, was pointed out in previous video, there are some skills oh command post missions i can do here that can help improve uh it can help improve our sanctuary here so we might do some of those let's go ahead and let's do this primary quest first uh and just see how it goes let's let's also adjust our bill our uh, heroes a little bit i want to get them up to level 20 but they're going to be kind of weak Let's get rid of Koss. Let's run a Milani. And I like Elias. 
I don't care too much about Zenmai, but I also want Sosuke. So let's get rid of Elias and let's put Sosuke up here. Yeah. He's running that weird Master of Magic build that I was going in earlier. And now let's change our build. Let me think about it for a second and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, and we're back. I am going a little bit of a stolen speed build. Try and slow down some casting time and uh, some degeneration through the uh, PVE skill, Ether Nightmare. Some interrupt and AoE. This, this Cry of Pain is just so stacked. It's so powerful, I think. AoE damage, health degeneration, plus interrupt for just... It's a pretty high it's pretty high casting cost though honestly. Um, clumsiness for just very good anti melee or ma anti uh, attacking classes and plus damage. Little bit of a uh, condition with the deep wound plus some flat damage there. And uh, a little bit of healing enchantment removal and another interrupt energy gain. I am already going to guess that I will not successfully get off any power drains, but we put it on the skill bar nonetheless. Now it's time to pick up some henchmen. Let's go with, um, since I'm running soul and speed, I'm going to bring some more casting henchmen. Domination, blood, probably another nuker would be good. And I need another healer. Let's go with... Uh, Talcor is protection, so let's go with Menlo. And we should be good to go. Hopefully we can get Sosuke up some levels here. I got a new uh, gaming headset with a new mic on it. My old mic was having some connectivity issues that was slightly annoying. Plus, it, it required me to be a little bit hunched over uh, in my playing to be close to the mic. Now I can... I can be in a little more comfortable position. I think I sacrifice a little bit of audio quality on my mic, on my voice, but hopefully it's not too bad. Let me know if you think my audio is just terrible and then I'll, I'll switch back to my other microphone. All right, so we're going into Jahai Bluffs, really hoping I can get some new Mesmer uh, Elite skills. It'll be fun to, to try some of these out. But Stolen Speed is quite powerful. Yeah, I can almost have 100% uptime with that 12 second recharge time, uh, which the 12 seconds recharge time should be decreased further with my fast casting, but I'm not sure about that actually. What's up, Narashi? Patrols, Dunkoro, don't waste time, got it. Let's talk to the priest, get our bounty, and then we'll also get our shrine buff here. Just gotta worship some local gods looks like a grinth i realize the statue reveals that's a grinth statue so it reveals which kind of uh voice you're gonna get let's go with uh unnatural resistance creepy uh we have an insect bounty so we're gonna be fighting a lot of bugs here picking fights with some bugs Also increase my screen resolution a little bit, so some of this stuff might look a little bit smaller than usual. Hopefully it's not too bad. Absolutely melting these guys. Let's go. And we'll go ahead and fight these guys too, because they're bugs. We are trying to get Sunspear command points, so we... They will also buff our Sunspear sunspear skills these uh termites do use frenzy so keeping track of that you'll be able to do double damage to them that's why i'm doing 100 damage with cry of pain there i don't feel like picking up junk items right now Ooh, i just noticed uh i can get that oh i lost the other one darn I wanted to give the other one to my Lalani, but I guess not. Let's give her some health. So there's 
is Jahai, built with Turai Asa. Yeah, right, right, right. Turai Asa. That's the guy who I was thinking of. So is Turai Asa an ancestor of Varish Asa? That would make sense. It's it'd be it'd be kind of weird if it's just a coincidence. <laughs> it's like you know that'd be that'd be really bad writing if they just couldn't think of another last name. No relation. But yeah, so uh, Varish also must be a descendant of the great Tarai Asha, which we'll find out more about why he's so great later. I am really liking this build. I don't know if it's me or my henchmen, but I am just melting some guys. And the thing about stolen speed is it'll be buffing all of my casters so it'll buff my skills that are cast against them of course but also sosuke who has like one second one second one second three seconds like all of his skills will be will be sped up half this half the casting time so a 1.5 second earthquake is pretty powerful just running this just with adding this synergy suddenly makes his Suddenly makes his build a lot more viable. It was a little bit trolly before just because of how long it took him to cast spells. But now it's almost like stolen speed is almost like giving your whole team a fast casting attribute. It's insanely powerful. And yeah, my skills are recharging so fast. Does it does it increase the charging time or re decrease the charge time rather? No, just increase the uh, decrease the casting time. That's it. I think we're on our way to getting a new teammate as well. Whoa. Clumsiness on almost 200 damage because he's running Frenzy. That's a crazy, crazy damage boost. I don't know why they put Frenzy on their, on their, like, why the developers put Frenzy on their uh, skill bars. I still have two lockpicks. I've su I've successfully retained, like, two, or two lockpicks, I think, now from opening chest. Lockpick's not a bad investment once you have some lucky attributes. And we're going to get a new rune to put on our heroes. You can always... Oops. Oh, I need to give that to Milani too. You can always buy runes for your teammates, but it's always recommended. Yeah, I'll give her... Uh, that might be not worth it. Scythe. It'd be better to put Scythe in the hood. Look at that. She does have a level up, so we'll give her mysticism. Um, but yeah, it's always it's always better, more satisfying to find the runes, in my opinion. Where'd that new one go? Here. Oh, bingo, bango, bongo, <laughs> scythe mastery right there. Milani's getting just stacked look at that she just got a huge power increase in this short video so far and maybe we're gonna get a gold item here nope a rune of ma major uh a rune of major vigor though all right spear of major and another another dervish uh insignia or whatever modification and my lockpick was broken. I would say not too worse, but not bad either. Heck it. Can I get... Interesting, this shrine is destroyed. So there's no... Oh no, Duena's there. It's a destroyed Duena shrine. That's scary. We'll go ahead and get double blessings. Even though we're probably at the end of this section.
pretty pumped. Pretty pumped. Can I not go this way? Scout with Narashi. So I need to talk to Narashi real quick. Ah, oh, the centaur are slaves. Why do I need to backtrack? Weird. Oh, these guys are attacking me. Oh, that's a lot of meteors. Forgot about Drain Enchantment. I like this spell, Accumulated Pain, as well as Cry of Pain, because even if I... You know, even if I don't proc the full effect of the skills, you're going to be doing flat damage, like guaranteed damage, I should say. And so far, yeah, all of these skills that I have, except for clumsiness, that needs, that's got a condition um, applied to it uh, to, to get the damage off, rather. But um, pretty much all of these skills are pretty spammable without thinking too much about them. I'm just going through the skill bar and it seems I'm I'm being pretty effective. Oh, uh, did I complete it? What? Let's just go this way though at least. Floodplain of Monkelon. I might as well do some more exploring, right? Is there any reason for me to go over here? I think this is an outpost. No, it's not. It is not an outpost. Ooh. Oh, it's a enemy's pet. All right, I guess I'll warp back. I don't think there's any outposts around here. I have to come back here for a mission later though. So we talked to Lonai, see what's going on with her. And I think we're gonna be able to get a new hero pretty soon. Oh, let's not make that same mistake twice. Let's get Zen Mai in here. They should be getting level up. Milani might even hit level 20 here. No, oh, Susuke got 17 though. Yeah, Zed Shadow Hoof joins the party. Nice. You won't believe this. While you were gone, a centaur somehow in infiltrated the command post. What's up with our security? How does, he how does a gigantic centaur infiltrate? That's funny. Um, great. So we'll level up Sosuke. Not really any point because he's running Master of Magic. But yeah, so we'll just leave him there. And then I'll kick Zen Mai and bring back Talcora. All right, I guess we'll keep going. Let me buy a new salvage kit. And sell off some of this stuff. Oh, that's a great name. Very classy. Very classy Guild Wars. Guild Wars players. Did I want to keep this for any reason? I guess I'll hang on to it a little bit. <gasps> oh, I thought I almost sold that. Oh my gosh. I almost double clicked and sold my mask. Oh, I would have been I would have felt sick to my stomach. All right. And let's buy a ooh, let's just buy an expert. We'll take this Windwalker. Put that on Nelani as well. I don't know if that's an ideal um, insignia to put on our inscription. What are they called? I forgot what those are called. There's runes, and what's the other thing called? Anyway, I don't know if that's an ideal one, but it is one, so it's better than nothing. So we're going to put them on. 
Yeah, I like the I, I like that. It, it really feels like in a, in a Nightfall, there's a higher drop rate of runes. Maybe they did it on purpose to help you outfit your heroes more uh, quickly. But it really seems like that. It's very satisfying to find drops that you can immediately use on your heroes without... You know, it gets kind of old just picking up items and then just salvaging and mer uh, selling them to the merchant. It's like... You want to pick. You want to feel like you're picking up items that are actually useful. Otherwise, what's the point of looting stuff? All right, Zed. One of the coolest character models in the entire game. Zed Shadowhoof. Like, he looks way like I feel like the centaurs here look even cooler than in Guild Wars 2. It just looks awesome. Very cool. Humans, they always think the world turns on their shoulders. Your kind can enslave us, but never shall you break our spirits. I need to speak with you two legs. Gather your party and go to the Jahai Bluffs. I will be there with an informant who will escort us past the guards at the Kodoner Crossroads. Fight alongside us, or the Kernan dogs will learn of your hideout. So we're going to gain some Centaur uh, allies, because we do need allies to fight against Varish. kind of feels like a lot of the storylines now that I think about it, a lot of the storylines in Guild Wars tend to be like this there's like an enemy army that's gathering that's way too powerful for us to deal with so we need to unite the various the various uh, various clans to to overcome our way too strong adversary like isn't that like every trope of every fantasy storyline anyway masters of whispers here we go no need to introduce yourself i know exactly okay creepy my name that is unimportant all you need to know is that i am an ally and as much as i know about the enemies as i do and i do about you Zed and I have shared interests. He needs to free his noble centaur leader, and I need a certain overbearing overseer taken care of. Wish you luck if that is something you believe in. Doesn't sound like he believes in luck. Alright, are we going? He's just talking. They're just talking. Yeah, we, we just get we just got shadow hoofed. Oh, he's not even level 20. Interesting. I guess I'm going to use him to replace Acolyte Sosuke for, uh, for this next mission. No, I missed it. Anyway, like I said, just casting stolen speed when you have all these casting teammates, that's like enough of a buff to just totally wreck the enemy team. I'm just spamming skills that have no effect now. Oh, I forgot. So Eve, yeah, Eve still has blood ritual. That's nice. So even though I'm running only three heroes, the henchmen have quite good synergy with each other. I don't feel like I'm having any sort of um, any sort of disadvantage bringing the henchmen. Might even be more powerful to bring the henchmen. Again, I'm not really sure how their equipment and uh, runes and stuff work with the henchmen. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't give you enough information in my opinion. It'd be nice to know exactly what their attribute values are at. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice? Going the right way? Yeah. Hopefully we can hit Sun Spirit level 7 here. Oh, we should fight these guys. 
Not really sure if I should go left or right though. Look at that, they're clumped together. Perfect. And then the grasping roots by by Sosuke. That's a really crazy skill, honestly. All nearby foes move 50% slower. Extremely fast cast time. That's such a strong ability. And those warriors trying to rush into our back line, they don't even don't even make it. Plus, I think she's running... Milani might be running some cripple, if I'm not mistaken. No, I guess not. She just does insane AoE with that Vow of Strength. I like the builds Milani has. Okay, Necromancer. Necromancer Elite Skill. I do have a Signet of Capture, so that'll be nice. Running um, some sort of blood magic. Whoa, hello, hello. Something is wrecking us. Looks like Zed's about to die. Don't die. Yeah, we got, we got nuked. Yeah, I failed. Darn. I got a little arrogant. Okay, we got a we got an elite skill, Ravenous Gauge, Gaze, deal 15 damage and steal 15 health from target foe in all nearby foes. Look at that casting time and cooldown time. Huh. That's interesting. And it's not a melee, or it's not an up close. It's target foe nearby foe, so you can use it from a distance. Very cool. I'm not gonna use it, but still. All right, let's go back, restart that. Horrible failure. All right, we're kind of back to where we were, uh, except last time we went right. I'm gonna avoid that horrible battle with that disgusting boss that just wiped our whole party. Um, that ravenous gaze just the AoE to my party just melted them, I guess. And the casting time on it so fast, they couldn't interrupt it. So we're gonna try uh, avoiding them. You know, it's not a guarantee, it's not a mandatory battle. And we did, even though we were victorious, we lost Zed's Shadow Hoof. So we can't guarantee keeping him alive. I'm just gonna just avoid the conflict. Avoid the confrontation altogether like a bully at the high school Waiting for me at my uh, uh, After at, at the the normal exit that I go through so I had to go all the way around the back exit and around the school to avoid them um, Never mind, okay, let's keep <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, I am gonna pick up that second blessing I forgot to do this last time too. Perfect, Lisa's Muse. 10 energy, that would be nice, but I think uh, it would be nicer to get my Mesmer attributes increased by one. So now we do 92 damage with Clumsiness. It's crazy damage. What are we at? We're at 15 Illusion Magic. It's not even the highest possible. I could get one, I could put one more level to it, but I don't have enough attribute points. Oh, do I have to battle these guys? Oh, I thought I avoided this. I guess I didn't. Um, how should I do this? These tusked howlers come up here. Let me try and avoid it. I'm going to go I'm going to go around this way. Little bit around here. Avoid the bully. Name of the game. More insects anyway this way, so we can get some bonuses. 
And I can pick up another blessing down there. I think this blood this this uh priest got us the beasts the beast bounty. And it was a Duena. Duena blessing. I'm kinda spending a lot of money on these blessings, but I don't really care. It's only fifty gold fifty gold a pop. We're pretty wealthy. Look at that triple blessing. Who needs consumables when you can just pick up these blessings? You know? I noticed Ascolite Sosuke does not cast Master of Magic between battles. Though it's kind of a good idea to... When you notice it, and you're, even if you're not in a battle, just keep it activated. Because it lasts for 49 seconds. It'll, it'll reduce some of the energy costs that he has to spend during the battle. Pro tip, the AI does not pre-cast. It, it's interesting because he pre-casts Aura of Restoration. You'd think they would have used the same programming to tell the AI that he should maintain it, but does not do it. Really need to get, I need to get more used to not only using my skill bar, but using theirs. Treating it like that's my skill bar as well. Should increase the effectiveness of my heroes overall. Hopefully I don't lose this. I've got one more lockpick left. Don't lose it. Yeah, and we got a new size for Milani. Milani's just getting decked out this game, this episode. It is a max damage, while hex damage increase, and earth damage. Hmm. I kind of prefer it she do slashing, but Vow of Strength gives her slashing damage, so. And then Heart of Holy Flame makes her attacks holy, so it's not a big difference. Get out of here. I need to uh, customize that. Cool. Um, am I going the right way? Almost there. Almost there. Haraj. I'm not going to pick up that. That's another Grant Blessing, it looks like. No need for that. Codener Crossroads. So here's another outpost. Let's look at the time of this episode. I might do the next mission. We'll see. It's kind of uneventful episode if I don't. Cutscene. So what's this plan of yours? It is simple, two legs. We surrender to the Cornins. Surrender? Have you lost your mind? Hardly. Once we surrender, they will lock us up in a pen in the work camp. We then free ourselves and rescue the other centaurs. And how would we free ourselves if we we're locked up? My friend Haraj Firemane is trusted by the guards. They believe his will to be broken. So case facing the opposite direction. <laughs> What's up with him? you will use to release us. How do we know you and your friend won't just turn us in? You don't. You'll have to trust me. We have to trust a centaur who doesn't trust us. Yes. Ironic, isn't it? You gotta trust the centaur. All right. Um. Let me check. How long has have I been going this episode? Um. Do I need to sell anything? No. Looks like. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna keep going. We're at about 
almost 30 minutes in. I think it's enough time to do this mission. Could be a long episode. I'll have to figure out some ways to shorten it. I like to keep episodes around an hour just to not overload you guys. Uh, let's do the same trick we did before. Let's get Zenmai in here. No level ups. All right. Let's get rid. Let's get. Let's just use the same group we were using. Um. Nice. Do I want to be necromancer? Um, secondary. I don't know. All right. I guess I'll just keep this build. Maybe we'll find a nice elite skill. Haven't found a single Mesmer Elite in Nightfall. What's up with that? All right, let's go for it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's... <laughs> let's customize our Milani Scythe. Perfect. She should be doing tons of damage now. Okay, Codener Crossroads. Here we go. Do I need... I think I need... Um, Zed Shadow Hoof though. What's he using? He's using a, a water and earth magic build. Interesting. Well, let's give him some earth magic then. Um, let's see, what am I allowed to use here? I'm allowed to use some factions and prophecies. I can't use any nightfall skills because I haven't found them yet. Let's give him elemental attunement, I guess. Or master of magic. I feel like elemental attunement's better than master of magic, no? It's way better. Especially if you're only gonna run two attributes. Master of Magic is only if you're going to run, like, all of the elements. I should change Sosuke to not use Master of Magic. Should be using Elemental Tumen. Anyway, uh, let's give him Grasping Earth, because I love that skill. Instead of, instead of Ward Against Foes, I feel like Grasping Earth is way better. And then he needs some more damage. He's using Blurred Vision. He's using some Hexes. And no earth damage attack, so let's give him earthquake. What was eruption? Ooh. Dang, that's so expensive. So expensive. He doesn't need that. Churning Earth might be nice. Alright. He's got some spammable water magic damage skills. He has some big nukes with his Earthquake and Churning Earth. Dragon Stomp and Earthquake are the same skill, I just realized. Do I want double? Oh, that would be crazy. No, no. Oh wait, Churning Earth is Nightfall, isn't it? Let's do it. Let's do the double Earthquake. Let's just do it. Uh, it's not gonna be good, but I am running Stolen Speed. Anyway, I've wasted enough time. Let's keep going. Oh, I remember this. We got ourselves captured on purpose. And then we need to wait to be extracted, released. And then we're going to cause some, wreck some havoc on these Kernan guys, slavers. Well, then, is this part where we trust you? I guess we can dance. Zed's shadow hoof doesn't have a dancing emote. He doesn't use any emotes. That's kind of lame. He just casts elemental attunement. <laughs> I 
All right, Haraj Fireman came to the rescue. I would die before I gave those dogs what they want. So we need to take out these Taskmasters, I think. Why are they green? I guess we're not allowed to fight them yet. There they go. They're turning. They're turning bad now. Uh, are my teammates gonna attack? Weird. I think I glitched them out because I attacked so quickly. So the bonus here is to unlock all of the centaur, I think. We get a pretty large army following us. I'm making sure that he doesn't aggro those guys. Yeah, get the interrupt off. Gosh, they just got nuked. He got an earthquake off, I noticed. So, um, it seems like elemental in attunement, he does cast that outside of battle. So it seems like that's, it seems like elemental attunement is just better overall than, than Master of Magic. Master of Magic would raise his attributes to level 13, but, hmm. I think it's okay. I mean, he's still doing, he's still doing pretty, um, respectable damage. He's got a lot of slowing skills. I like that build. What do you guys think about his build? Makes me want to play Elementalist, honestly. All right, we need to find the Taskmasters. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go counter, or I'm gonna go clockwise rather. There's one. And just clear this whole map. Just like all of the other Nightfall quests so far, or missions so far, they just turn into vanquishes. Just clear the entire area. Looks like they're a bit spread out. It's kind of annoying. Oh, how did I miss that? I feel like my teammates aren't helping. Why are these, like, three enemies just defending my entire team? And we're going to give a wide berth and just clear out this area. Oh, there's another Taskmaster here. So who's the... We need to take the priest out. There we go. Let's get rid of this enchantment on her. Wow, look how slow they are. It's crawling. I think those stack, actually. The 50% slow from this and the 66% slow from that basically gives them the maximum amount of slow possible, which I think is 90%. Might be wrong about that. What's the maximum slowing um, uh, movement speed decrease? Still, the, these enemies are pretty tanky, it feels like. Looks like Milani hit level 20. Let's go. So we got two... Two centaur teammates plus this Haraj fireman. So we got an army of three centaur with us. It's a good idea to do all of these because um, 
Yeah, even though this is a bonus, I think. Because it makes the last part easier when you have this gigantic army with you. The priest coming up is kind of far away. I'm gonna wait till she gets closer. I still miss the interrupt, even when they have 100% casting speed. Uh, additional casting speed. Oh, how do I miss it? Wow, they're running Whirling Defense, and that's like a direct counter to having these extra teammates. Because it makes them do tons of... Tons of damage. That's why that's why they're so tanky, that Whirling Defense stance that the enemy rangers are running. I have two cell keys. I need to open up these. Yeah, so we're just going... Oh, there are marked on the map. Okay, so we got one, two, we got three more that we can find. I think there's like two more keys out there. That's not one. Melted. I think there's a taskmaster here. Yes. It's been a while since I've done this mission, but I do remember it. I remember you have to go all the way around here. It's very easy to miss some of these taskmasters if you're just like following the road. You need to go all the way around. a boss. Taskmaster Sadi Belai. What is he? Is he a dervish or something? Or a monk? It's a monk. Definitely gotta explode him. Take him out. Nice. I interrupted it. Let's go. Max damage sword. That'll be good for costs later. Except he's already got a perfect sword, so never mind. Where's that? Here it is. Lengthens poison damage. Interesting. That would be good on um, a ranger. If I run that trapper build on the ranger, that would be a good sword to use on with her. Not the not the have skill recharge, but something like this. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's an inscription. Yeah, I need to change that inscription out. We can do it like that. That's cool. So when I get another ranger and give her the trapping build, I'm going to use this sword. It lengthens poison duration by 33 is pretty nice. Did I miss? No, I didn't. Uh, 
so far it's been pretty easy. We're fighting a lot of like Dervish, uh, Paragon, Rangers, and some Priests. So I guess bringing some disenchantments would be pretty useful. Conditions might be nice, and then the interrupts are good against shutting down these priests. The priests have um, convert hexes, so they have got pr they've got pretty decent hex removal. So I'm missing one key. I've got three more cells to unlock, and I only have two keys. See if I can find the last key. It's always so hard finding the last key, I remember. Your party has one C, use the unlock. So I know there's yeah, two more cells here. We just need one more taskmaster. Where is he at? There he is. Nailed it. So we'll take him out. Oh no, I already unlocked that cell. Oh no, no, right, right, there's two cells there. So I'm, this is the last guy. Oh, we got him alone. His teammates just left him. Oh, poor guy. I feel bad for him now. Use, so we got two more cells to unlock. Let's do it. This one and that one. And then we can finish. Kind of a short mission if you do it this route. So you go counterclockwise. Or you go clockwise. Why do I keep saying counterclockwise? You go clockwise and then back through here. Finish. Get these last guys. A little bit slight backtracking. But not much. You can reduce the backtracking. That's better. Ooh, he's a boss. He's glowing green. Level 24. What a beast. Is is Zed Zed's the only centaur henchman you get, right? Or a um not henchman, but hero. Come on, let's see some dragon stomps and earthquakes. Come on, Zed. He's not casting any spells. Why? Why is he not spamming him? He just use him, man. There's a knockdown. And then use Earthquake. Like, why do I gotta click on it? Why is he not just spamming them as they're up? That's interesting, AI. What a bunch of wasted time. All right, that's the last one. Defeat Overseer Boktek and Overseer ha Haube. What are you guys doing? Looks like you guys are... Your health is degenerating pretty bad. You know, oh, you, I just realized what would be nice here is bringing a Necromancer, Minion Master with curses and run barbs. If you had barbs as a necromancer on your player character or on a hero, you'd be doing extra damage for all of these and maybe even in orders. I don't know if orders counts for these guys, but a paragon, paragon shouts would count as well. So paragon, yeah, I feel like paragon is, is definitely required here. Paragon hero or Paragon player character would be perfect. Isn't it weird that you get a Dervish character or hero, but you don't get a Paragon hero until way later? I guess it kind of shows how powerful the Paragon is. They didn't want players to be too powerful. Like, I almost think Koss should have been a Paragon. Nah, he's better as a warrior. It's kind of 
weird. Let's... Oh no, the bonus is defeating the other Taskmasters. So I've only defeated one. And then there's one here, I think. Bulk Tech. Oh. Cruel Taskmasters. They're different. Oh, I almost I almost missed the bonus. So saving the Centaur is mandatory. Wow, it's a good thing I read that bonus just then. Because I was just thinking, I still have to capture the signet of capture, and I was like, why have I not found the other bosses? So where are these task these cool taskmasters at? Again, it's just turning into a vanquish. Not very creative, I must say. Still, it's better than um, the time trials. Like, I really don't like the timed bonuses in uh, factions. But at the same time, like, just having basically a vanquish be the bonus is a little bit lazy, in my opinion. So far, Prophecies has the best has the best mission and bonus system of all the campaigns. I just think they ran out of time. Or ideas or they realize like players just want to speed through the missions I guess I don't know am I wrong who's wrong here which campaign has the best system of mission primary mission objective and bonus objective factions is definitely the worst but I, I think I think I like the bonus objectives in in prophecies. They're just more even though they do require a lot of backtracking, which is annoying, they're a little bit more creative. Slightly more creative, I guess is a better word. Mage Hunter Strike, so it's a warrior. Oh no, no, he's a dervish. Huh? Ermite's renewal. P highest renewal. I can't see it because I'm not a dervish. Mm. I think I remember Tar Heel saying the pious renewal is really good. I guess I should have been in uh, dervish secondary. But Vow of Strength is not bad. Basically, basically gets extra attacks for 15 seconds double attacks all right there's one more cruel taskmaster he's not in there i don't think he must be down here i guess There he goes, casting... He's casting some skills now. No, this is not the right way. There he is, it is the right way. Vanok. He is a... Necromancer. Okay, we get a necrom another Necromancer Elite. Still no Mesmer Elites, that's really lame. Not fair at all. I feel like we found a ton of necromancers so far. Blood is power. This is an excellent one. It's basically blood ritual, but it's uh, elite skill. That's excellent. I didn't realize it was a nightfall. I thought that was a prophecy skill. Maybe it's a core. It, maybe it's a core skill. Let me check that.
Yeah, it's a core. It's a core um, skill. That's awesome. Really good skill. Blood is power necromancer. Super powerful. Because... Okay, target other ally. What makes it better than blood ritual, though? Is it the casting time? Or the duration? The cost? Maybe, maybe it takes less sacrifice? Less health sacrifice? It'd be awesome if it affected the whole party. Let's say, interrupt that thing. Got another um, armor piece here. Milani, no! Dead Shadow Hoof, level 18. Bingo, we finished it. Good job, everyone. Mirza Veldrunner will take my people home from here. I shall come with you. Why should we trust you? You didn't share your plan with us until it was almost too late. <laughs> like, I feared you would flee if I told you too soon. Looks like we didn't legs. defeat all the enemies over here. You made of sterner something. stuff than I had thought. <laughs> My friends and I risked capture for you, and you still use that two-legs talk. Of course. I'm sorry if I've offended you. I shall trust you fully, if you allow me to help. All right, you can come along. We can use your help. <laughs> Watch your language. So distracting. I shall follow. I don't know what what is so... Two-legs. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's so offensive about two-legs. It's not that bad. Factual, isn't it? Meanwhile, who is responsible for this? War Marshal. Captain, why did you not kill the traitors when you had the chance? We. We thought you would want them alive, War Marshal. You were mistaken, Captain. Hunger? Whoa. <laughs> nom nom. Crunching, eating Perish. sounds. The captain was just doing his duty. As I do mine, General Morgan. Yes, but such discipline will soon leave us without soldiers at all. You are right, Morgan. I apologize for my impulsive response. Now is the time for clear thinking. General Bale. War Marshal. Take the hunger and whatever forces you need. I want these sun spears dead. Your words are my deeds, War Marshal. You are a good soldier, Bale. I would expect no less. The voice actor for Varys is great. And for Bale. I already commented about Bale. But the voice, voice actor for Varys is really nice. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to X that out. Darn. I think it'll come back up later. All right, kind of a long episode. We did some exploration quests. We did a primary quest. I think next time we come back, we'll, we'll do some of these uh, command post quests because I want to upgrade our Sun Spear command posts uh, a little bit more. Got some elite skills, two elite skills. That's great. Might run uh, some new some new builds next episode. Maybe some Necromancer elites builds or something. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to cut it off here so I don't ramble on too much. Bye.